Hey everyone, welcome to Real-Time 3D Live, your source for what's going on in the world of real-time 3D animation. We've got some important updates for you this time around, including where you can find us at Seagraph in Los Angeles this year, the release of some new video tutorials and Reillusion content, as well as some changes to our website and marketplace. And of course, we'll have our user showcases and freebie giveaway as well, so stick around. If you're watching this, you're likely a fan of CG, so you might be interested to know that Reillusion will be at Seagraph 2012 in Los Angeles this year, the biggest CG event in the world. We'll be there showing off our newest developments, such as how you can use the new 3D Exchange pipeline in tandem with both CG and game development software, not to mention the Kinect motion capture. So if you have a chance, come pop by our booth. We may not have booth babes, but by golly, with the Kinect, you can be your own booth babe. Okay, now some of you may be a little bit lost when it comes to how to actually incorporate 3DX Pipeline into your workflow, which is why we've released a number of video tutorials that demonstrate how CG software and game engines can take advantage of iClone content and the 3DX Pipeline. You can learn how to export iClone embedded content totally free, as well as how to purchase other Reillusion content and export it. We also have a few tutorials that give you a walkthrough of the user-driven city marketplace and the new features we've incorporated. And on top of that, whether you use 3ds Max, Maya, Unity, or the Unreal Development Kit, you can find some hints and tips to really complement and speed up your workflow. Make sure you check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest new videos. Okay, so for our content announcement, we've got a bunch of export-ready animal packs that we're putting up at a discount, complete with a bunch of cool custom motions. These animals, along with their motions, are now fully exportable. You can check out all the animals and their motions in this interactive Unity web player app, bring them into your Max or Maya project with their own animations, or use them in your next game project. Remember to treat them well though, because as we all know, even virtual animal cruelty just ain't cool. Okay, now on to some website news. In case you haven't noticed, we've revamped our Reillusion TV page to be a bit more stylish and easy to navigate. Submit your videos to us in order to have your chance at being one of the main featured videos at the top of the page. Someone needs to kick me off there. We'll be implementing some new features in the near future to improve your viewing experience and content access as well, so stay tuned. In the City Marketplace, we've made it easier to find base character costumes, as well as the variety of derivative designs made from those bases as well. Now, whenever you click on a base product such as a clone cloth, either from Reillusion or a third party, you'll be shown a list of any available derivative content at the bottom of the page. On the flip side, if you see a derivative outfit you really like, there will now be an easy link on the product page to lead you directly there for the required purchase. There are great bases from Big Boss, Vit3D and Aparicio, not to mention great outfit designs from Ally, Shy Girl, and Duchess. Check them out. Speaking of developers, veteran icon developer Warlord recently released a special tutorial for Post Magazine detailing how icon can work with other film production software to make a beautiful scene like this in combination with some simple work in Adobe After Effects. Post Magazine had some positive words for icon as well, noting that its ease of use allows professional animators to pick it up and become familiar with it in minutes. The concepts are straightforward and simple to execute when you're already familiar with 3D work. The tutorial also incorporates a cool new prop that Warlord has released as part of a low-poly series. This series includes concerts, lines, street scenes, and even zombies. Make sure you check it out in the marketplace. Up next, I've got a feeling that you're in for some awesome user videos. Norte43 is at it again, bringing you the energy and pumping you up with a solid club tune. Norta uses a unique mix of characters, along with some motions from a and mocap dance motions, to bring the funk. Even that evil dude from Saw can't keep him dancing. Next is an entry from Cyborg Tai, who started out doing an animated pirate movie quest with LEGO characters in Carrera, and then became interested in iClone for its real-time preview and fast rendering. The end result is a solid production that uses Carrera for the first two minutes, then switches to iClone for the remainder of the story some top-notch work. Okay, and last but not least, I want to announce our next big competition, the 3D Game Carnival. So, what's this competition all about? Well, basically we're looking for user showcases that use game engines specifically. 
What we need you to do is create your game, no matter how simple it is, and submit a video showing samples of how you used iCone and 3D Exchange in the process. Also, be sure to provide a URL where anyone can test out your game online. The top prize is a cool thousand dollars in cash. So, what are you waiting for? Okay, on to this show's freebie giveaway. We're going to be sending out three copies of our yet-to-be-released Monster Workshop content pack. This pack allows you to create and customize your own interactive monsters with a new and unique plugin. You can add and remove body parts, spring accessories, and have full control of both the facial expressions and the accessories through a uniquely designed UI panel. You will soon be able to use this UI on your own custom characters as well. If you want to win, make sure you subscribe and like this video, and answer this question in the comment section below. What kind of content packs do you think that Reillusion should release in the future to complement the new pipeline capabilities? Alright, so that's about all the time we have for this episode. We hope to see you in Los Angeles, but if not, stay classy, iCloners, and keep it real time.